It is not about how much data you have collected. It's about how you process it and output it to your audience. Microsoft Excel had been proven to be exceptionally powerful in data analysis. You can use it to process all your data into reasonable results so that your audience can have a better understanding of your outputs. In this video, I want to share with you five tips and tricks to enhance your experience in data processing and outputting of your results. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Rashid and welcome back to Epic Mentorship. If you are new here, consider liking and subscribing to our channel to keep enjoying related and useful videos from us. Enough of the talking, let's get started with the tips and tricks that I have for us today. All right, guys, so the first tip that I have for us is how to drag data, okay? How to drag data within Microsoft Excel. This is a very useful tool because sometimes we may want to move our data from one cell to another or from a particular column to the next. So all you need to do is just to select that particular data you want to move in. All right, so let's say assuming you want to move this particular data from uh, column A to let's say column F. So all you need to do is to select it and then come over here until it shows the cursor shows this cross icon and then you can drag directly to any place maybe let's say to column f okay and just you leave it there okay you just paste it just like that or you can select any range of data across and horizontally or vertical and then come to the edge of the data and then you can move it easily to any location of your choice okay so it's a very easy to use method you can drag and drop your data to any location of your choice okay it happens across uh, the columns and the rows the next tip that i have for us is called analyze data okay so to access this feature all you need to do is to click on the particular data you want to analyze anywhere within it and come over to home tab up here and then navigate over to analyze data so once you click on it it's going to bring in a series of ideas for you to choose from based on the selected data so you look down here you can see a suggestion of a particular chart based on the nature of data that you have you can choose to add or you can choose to look into which field interests you the most within this data so for example we click on it and we have all the included fields down here okay so you can select all or deselect all of them you can maybe deselect according to your interest okay let's say we choose uh, this last three and we can uh, change the value or the behavior by maybe from some to average from some to to average or to anything okay and when you once you're done you can just hit update and you can see a very simple arrangement or a very simple uh, relation between your data has been given to you so all you need to do is to insert this particular chart to your data okay you click on this plus button and it's inserted to your data highlighting the reference the key reference that you have shown right so you can work on this and you can update it as you wish using this field of interest that fields that interest you the most you can always come back to it and you can always add from the range of data that you have and then you can always update the particular key feature that you are selecting for example you can see the payment date should be included and then you should have uh, what kind of treatment you should have is it the sum or is it the average so once you're done you can always hit the update here to update the table or to update the chart accordingly. So the next tip that I have for us is how to use the quick analysis tool. Okay, quick analysis tool is very, very useful to have a general idea about your data and how it's going to behave uh, when you are analyzing it. So to have 
to use this particular feature, all you need to do is to select the particular data that you have. And down here at the end of it, you're going to see this icon, which is a sign of a quick analysis. You can reach there using the control Q, or you can just click on it to have a general idea. You can see the bars, the colors, you can see, you can color the, the data. You can have icon sets, you can have created and all less than, and you can, it can show you the top 10% of your value and you can have a clear format as you wish. Okay. You can, you can move back to clear format at any time. And you can have an idea about the kind of chart that you can generate from this particular data. Okay. As you move around, you could be able to see and understand the kind of behavior that you should expect from this data and how you can, you can actually play around with it. And you can see the totals. Okay. You can have sums down here and you can have averages. You can have counts. You can have percentage total and you can have running total as well and, and so much more okay you can have songs towards the right okay and you can have tables as well okay pivot tables you can have uh, so much so much to just have a, a very brief idea about your data and how the behavior actually is towards the right right or towards the left or through, through any pattern of your choice okay so this is a very 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 useful and handy tool that you can have used to just have a general idea about your data before you kickstart any analysis. All right, the next tip is quite basic. It's how to auto fit your columns and width. Okay, so assuming you have uh, this set of data and you feel like you will need to auto fit according to the content, all you need to do is to select the particular data and you come over here to the H until you have this a cross sign and then you double click and it's going to auto fit it to content okay you can do the same for this as well you can just come here double click and it's going to auto fit it according to the uh, the longest value within the column okay so the same thing goes here you can do across the the column and you across the width as well all right if you want to do you can do multiple at a time by selecting them and coming to the extreme end and double click once and it's going to auto fit all the content according to the like the longest piece of data within that particular column right so it's a very very handy tool that anyone can use to kind of optimize this spacing or cell spacing as you are conducting your data analysis all right, the last option that I have for us today is how to do, how to use the past spatial option. Okay. Past spatial is sometimes handy whenever you have a particular set of data. For example, in this case, this is a, a data that is connected to other data. Okay. This is a formula. Okay. It defines a particular range. Okay. This is a product of two cells and divided by B3. Okay two cells divided by b3 so this is formula it's not an ordinary number so if you try to copy this sort of data to a different place maybe let's say to this place and you try to paste it it's going to give you an error because it's a formula and that formula doesn't exist so for you to have a good experience or for you to paste this particular data in the most appropriate way you need to use the paste spatial okay paste spatial can be accessed whenever you reach to a place where you want to paste you just right click and then you come over to paste spatial here okay and click on it and you can simply come over here and choose just the values and not the formula okay just the values and you will have all the values clearly pasted and even as you navigate over them you can see there's no formula it's only the raw value that's there okay all right guys thank you so much for being with me up to this point and i do hope that you have learned something today if you do kindly feel free to share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to stay connected with this channel for more of our useful videos remember to apply these tips and tricks in your next data analysis so that you can enhance your output for your readers to better understand your results. I will see you in my next video. Bye.